you guys welcome to my channel hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's look i'm doing on um, my sister <laughs> So I'm starting her off with the Ready to Glow NYX Face Primer in Blanco. And then this happened. <laughs> I think bloopers are about the funniest thing ever when it comes to videos and editing it makes everything so much more fun and funny so if you're a new beginner to youtube and vlogging and stuff like that don't think that you messed up because stuff like this happens it's actually very very funny Now I'm just going in on her eyebrows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. The catch with this video is really, really so funny because she's my sister. She's my go-to person when it comes to makeup. So every time I want to try a new look, she's somebody that I just say, call up or text like, hey, what are you doing? I want to try a new look. Let me play with your face. And sh for the most part, she's always down. Shout out to my sister for always being my little tag team on this. And it's funny because just like in this moment, sometimes she's like, just does whatever. And I'm like, can you just be a good model and just stay still? Just stay still. <laughs> Now I'm just concealing her eyebrows with the e.l.f. HD Concealer in the shade Fair. When it comes to eyebrows, that's one thing about me. I usually sculpt out what you already have. If there's anything else that needs to be adjusted later as far as pairing them up and making them both look even, that's something that you touch up. Well, at least I touch up at the end of it, like now.
and I use the same concealer to base eyeshadow. I've never been a big fan of going out and buying a separate eyeshadow base. I do own a few of them. But as far as in this video, I definitely did one of my all-time favorites, which is use the exact same concealer that I use on the brows and the under eye to just base off for the eyeshadow. I'm now taking the Airspun Loose Setting Powder in the color Total Coverage Translucent to just give the first coat. Now with the Kylie Cosmetics, the burgundy palette, I'm using the shade Beach to give an outer smoky look. As you can see in the palette, these are one of like my go-to colors. I've always found it hard to find a good like beigey brownish color to go very well with my skin tone when it comes to just um going for a more calmer simple look but for some reason this has been my it color every time i want to do a transition when it comes to nudes and like autumn looks and stuff like that this is my color so this here happens to be the sister brand of the company that i work for now i'm using their um radiant liquid eyeshadow in the color Ortroid Titan and the name of this company is called Nika K and I'm just easily blending it out a little bit you know adding some more of the um Kylie Cosmetics burgundy palette in beach and the color was actually applied to the inner corner and the outer corner to give a more halo look Now with the color Almond from the same burgundy palette, I'm just only going on the outer corner to give it a more darker look when, you know, when you close your eyes, open your eyes, you know, you get that little effect of smokiness. I just wanted the corners to stand out a bit more. And then you blend, 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 blend. When in doubt, blend it out, okay? When in doubt, blend it out. This is the e.l.f. Pomade eye, um, eyeliner in the color black. I'm just going to apply some of this on her waterline. I find it easier to apply um, bottom liner with a brow pencil because it has that angle on it. Especially if they're in pomade form when they come in those you know, little jars instead of in pencil form. They're easier to apply that way and it's less messy. Taking the same concealer that we used on the eyebrows and the, the eyelid, which is the e.l.f. HD concealer <laughs> in the shade Light. Just applying some under the eyes to get rid of some of the dark circles and also to define the line of the eyeshadow. And this is before foundation. I don't do this to everybody, but if necessary, then I do so. And never too much if it's going to be a second coat after the foundation. And just enough to clean that line, make it really sharp and defined. And also in case there was any fallout.
now with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Dewy and Smooth in the color 310 Sun Beige. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This foundation happens to work very, very well for me to be a drugstore product. A little goes a long way, and that's what I really, really like about it. As you can see, I just placed a few dots on the cheek area, some on the forehead, and a tad bit under the eye, just to smooth even out the color that's the concealer shade and the foundation to give it a more natural look. But this foundation happens to work very, very well for me. I haven't had any issues with it. No reaction, no dewiness. Like, I mean, it is a dewy and smooth, but not too much. Never to the point where I look sweated or caked. Just blending that out just like that. Make sure to get it everywhere. And as you can see, look at the coverage on that. A little does go a long way. Now I'm going in with the Revolution Correction and Define Concealer. If I'm not mistaken, this is shade 07. I really, really love this foundation as well. It's very cheap. I found it at Ulta for seven bucks. And um, it's super, super creamy, so a little bit does go a long way as well. It does resemble the e.l.f. one too, like the way they apply. So I really like it as well. It has a little bit more brightness to it, so I feel like it gives a little bit extra more coverage. Then this is the Absolute New York Sculpt Stick. It's a 2-in-1 in the shade Light. I really love this stick for um, basing concealer. It works out really, really well for me. I mean, not basing concealer, basing contour. So I would use this being that it's a cream form. Blend, 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 blend. Just to give, you know, the, the base of contouring. Then I will take my sponge and just go ahead and re-blend, blend, blend to remove any defined lines. Then I'm just going to set under the eye with the... Um, Sorry about that. With the Airspun Loose Face Powder, once again in translucent, extra coverage. And I don't just um, I don't just set under the eye. I set the nose as well, and I like to use the opposite of opposite end of the sponge to actually give a line under the contour. So that way, is once you remove the powder, it has a more Define look as such. She has a love hate for loose powder. As you saw her dusting off, she really hates the mess of it just as much as I do. Love makeup. Loose powder is a go to. But it's so messy. I'm 
Now I'm gonna take the Fit Me Shine Free and Balance Stick in the shade Coconut, which is the number 355. And just use it to contour the nose area and the forehead area. I don't know why I like to use these two separate shades when it comes to the cheek and the face, but I don't feel like the face has to be as deep as the forehead for some weird reason. That's just my theory of makeup. And like I said in my other videos, that makeup is a preference. It's what you believe looks good on you and what you like to do and your, your methods. Just take my sponge and blend, blend, blend. Just going, going on to set the nose and the forehead just a bit. This is a three-in-one Maybelline, if I'm not mistaken, cons um, a mascara, which I really, really love because it's super, super lengthy. Like, I'm going to do a video in which I show you guys the difference between my lash and using this mascara. And yes, it's definitely Maybelline. But yes, on another video separately, I would definitely show you when I do another tutorial the difference in volume using this mascara. I definitely love it. I will recommend it and I would definitely get it again. Now I'm just adding on some Absolute New York Kiss Lashes in the number 42. My go-to eyelash glue is the Duo. It comes out a grayish color, but it dries black, which I really, really love. And I've been using it for the longest of time. It's definitely another recommendation. I definitely love it. So my sister believes that if you walk outside with your eyebrows and, and lashes, you are set for the best. Just applying the other lash now. Now I'm taking the, the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and I'm just gonna set her contour with the Shadow Play Shade. With the flat top brush, I'm just going to go in and dust off all the extra excess from 
the setting powder. So the concept with the setting powder is that once you apply the concealer, the wet and creaminess of whatever you have underneath will soak it up so that it sets it. Now I'm going to go with the Benefits Hula Bronzer just a tad bit. I'm not too much of a fan of blush. And I think there is a difference between blush and bronzer because bronzer is always going to be more bronzy, obviously. And to me, I'm not a fan of the pink rosy cheeks. So I always, always use bronzer as in the blush aspect of makeup. Now I'm just taking a small stipple pencil to go in underneath with my BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette in the deepest purple. And I'm just going to take this shade and apply under her lower lash line. After doing this look, I really, really fell in love with it. Like, it's so calm on the top, but the purple gives it such a sexy look. I think this would be very, very cute for, like, an anniversary or, like, something like that. Something sexy, but simple and cute. Then this is the NYX Butter Gloss. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some because she's definitely not a fan of color. I personally am not a fan of color either, so I always stick to neuter tones, and this look was very, very simple and subtle, that the butter gloss was perfect. It's, um, it's a gloss in which it just has a bit of a nudie tint to it. And then she's in full selfie mode. I'm taking the Mario Biscow, I'm not too sure how to say it, rose water setting spray and just going to spray that all over to set it real quick. And once I set the whole face, I have this little key trick where I don't like to apply the highlight first because I feel like the setting spray will dry out the vibrantness of like, you know, the shimmer and glitter to it. But I'm going to go back with my Kylie Cosmetics in Naked and I'm just going to clear up her um, eyebrow bone. Stay hydrated, ladies. Once again. The catch was that my, while editing, my sister was in charge of the clicker and she completely missed out on the part of highlight, which really upset me, but it's okay. I just used the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit on her cheeks in the shade Sun Kissed. And the whole idea behind this video was, as you can see now, and flash was because i was actually getting ready to do my portfolio so i did this calm look on her so we could get a quick photo shoot in and from this point after the makeup session was just the photo shoot it turned out to be so amazing i cannot wait to actually show you guys the full pictures behind these um i will be uploading them to my computer as soon as possible so that way i can have them out on my instagram pages for everyone to see but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. I am so looking forward to give you more and more content. Um, as of right now, I would appreciate it if you guys just like, subscribe, and share this video. And as I always say, support is free of cost. 
all you have to do is repost tell a friend to tell a friend and that's it for now guys goodbye